Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Tuna, yes, that's his actual username. Mm. Tuna comes in with a question about a CPU upgrade, and I'm calling this how to tell your CPU has overstayed its welcome for a reason. You'll see in a minute. He says, what would be a good upgrade from a 3930K? Well, that's not one we get asked about very often. No, it's not actually. We get asked about 5920Ks and 6800Ks and... 4770s. That is a Sandy Bridge E. It was the HEDT chip on the X79 motherboard after X58 but before the X99 and X299, it's a high-end desktop, six cores, 12 threads, from way before when six cores was even remotely a normal thing. And I'm sure a lot of people here in 2021 are gonna say, wait a minute, Intel, six cores, 12 threads? Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's horrendously out of date at this point, it really is. Despite the cores and threads, the actual cores are 10 years old at this point. Well, it is 32 nanometer for 600 bucks. Well, it was back then. Bright screen warning for everybody who doesn't want their eyes blinded out. This is the Intel product page on the i7-39, uh, if I can read correctly. 39, it is a Sandy Bridge E, 32 nanometer. This is a long, long time ago. It is an old core design. It is an old chipset design. It really, it was good for its day and it would have given you a lot of longevity had you done it. it although, honestly, it was a little bit early. I think that the i7-5820K uh, on X99, which was Haswell E, was probably the first six core that really made sense for most people. This, this was a, a touch early. Okay. However, However, regardless of whether you have an i7-3990, 3930, boy, not a name I say very often. An i7-3930K Sandy Bridge E or an i7-5820K Haswell E, they are both basically passing into history at this point. They are not getting updated for security fixes anymore. Their instructions for clock cycle are getting a little bit old. And I would like to point out the kind of person, the kind of buyer who would have bought a six core chip in either 2011 or 2014 teen is probably not the person in 2021 who wants anything to do with a six core chip. Not today. It may have aged well and it may very well have given you a lot of use, but that same buyer who went that far premium back then, well. you now have a bottom of the barrel entry level budget chip today for all intents and purposes. A Ryzen 5 1600 is roughly comparable to that maybe a 1600X, depending on how far you have it overclocked. It works, it functions. Your CPU has overstayed its welcome because of the, and here's the funny thing. I've, how many times have we recommended Ryzen 5 1600s on our channel? Lots. Yes. We did builds on them in 2017 and 2018. We did. Ryzen 5 2600, we've done a year ago, back when they were a reasonable price, when the Ryzen 5 3600, six core, 12 threads, N2, when it hit 145, we did streams about it and talked about it. We did builds with it. Great CPU. But that's buying a $145 chip in 2018 to 2020 for a buyer who is on a budget, who's trying to come in at the lower end of the price point of the industry and is just wanting a basic computer to play a few basic games and not expect too much. The buyer who bought that level of performance seven to 10 years ago is the kind of buyer who'd be buying a Ryzen 9 5900X or an i9 10850K or possibly a Threadripper, although Threadripper's overkill for most people today. It financially doesn't make any sense because the Ryzen 9s are so good. So here's where people are gonna get lost by my answer. You can still use a 3930 or a 5920K to play most current games, mm -hmm. run most current programs, and has amazing longevity. But if you have one, you will be shocked at how it has aged 
and with all of the, remember Spectrum Meltdown? Mm -hmm. All the security patches for those, the BIOS updates, yeah. the microcode updates, the advancements in software that use newer instructions that aren't in your older chip. Well, it's, it, Ian says that it doesn't even have AVX X2. Oh, good Lord. Or That's going to hurt at this point. I actually wasn't aware. I Because the 5920K does have AVX2, I think. A 3930K doesn't have AVX2? Yeah, it's done. And it's also DDR3 too. Yeah. 1600. That is... <laughs> It's it it is it is time that that chip almost should be on its third home so by now. So his question is what? Well, I mean, it depends on budget. It depends on what you do with your computer. As a general rule, my first leap to choice would be Ryzen 9 5900X. If you can find it for MSRP, uh, which is in the United States is five hundred and fifty dollars. Twelve cores, twenty four threads, Zen three. It is one of the fastest and best currently available desktop CPUs, and it will give you, you know, I actually don't think it will last as long as that did, although I think that has been due for a replacement already. I think a 3930K overstayed its welcome several years ago. Uh, you missed an upgrade in there somewhere. But regardless, five very solid years of use out of Zen 3. That would be my go-to upgrade. Oh, for fuck's sake. You could, if you wanted to, if you can find one, step up to a 59, 50x and get 16 cores. I am not convinced that the extra $250 is worth it. I think I think it's a maybe a step too far. The 5900x is where the value is, in my opinion. Do you have anything to add? Nope. That's what I have to say about that. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.